92 cases, 173 of which are residents uh, of the state of Florida. So yesterday afternoon, uh, the president and his team issued uh, new guidance from the CDC, uh, calling it kind of their 15-day plan. Uh, and so we really uh, looked at that hard, internalized it uh, to try to determine you know, what, what best courses of action to take in Florida. Uh, one of the things we've noticed is the universities being uh, with the spring break and the two week, um, a lot of students have just been congregating at the universities and going out and, and doing things there. Um, and that's not something we want. If you look at that CDC guidance, I think the number one thing is like, we don't want large crowds of people congregating right now. We want to have enough isolation uh, so that the virus has more difficulty spreading throughout the community. And so with that in mind, uh, we're going to take a number of steps today. Uh, first, uh, I am recommending to the Board of Governors, who are going to talk to the university presidents, um, about going to remote learning for the rest of the spring semester at all Florida universities. And the, the goal of that is that the students not stay congregated on campus, but actually return home. We think that that'll be safer for everybody, and we think that the universities are equipped to be able to handle the remote learning. Uh, so they are going to be working on that today, and I think you can expect an announcement along those lines uh, very soon. Uh, in terms of restaurants, uh, we're going to do similar to what California did, where you have 50% capacity limitation, seating needs to be staggered and limited to ensure that seated parties are separated by a distance of at least six feet. Of course, you know, this virus is transmitted when you were within six feet of somebody. Um, and so uh, we are going to encourage people, consistent with the president's guidance, to utilize takeout and delivery services. We're also going to be requiring that the restaurants screen all employees um, and prohibit entry for employees that may have um, a, a positive uh, response to any of the trigger questions in terms, of, in terms of health. Now, we did this. This is the floor for Florida for the foreseeable future. I was in contact with some of the mayors in South Florida, like Mayor Jimenez. I think you're going to see Miami probably go further than that. And, and we support uh, the efforts that the locals are doing. I think this is a virus that is affecting the whole state, but I think it affects different uh, communities differently. The response may not always be the same on every little thing. We have a number of counties that have not had a single case, and so I feel that this makes the most sense. It gives the flexibilities to locals to go further if they want to, but also recognizes that we do have some areas um, where, where we haven't seen this yet. Uh, bars and nightclubs, uh, effective 5 p.m. today, um, you know, they're going to be suspended for 30 days um, in the state of Florida. I think you've seen a lot of things about people congregating at some of these things. Um, we view that as, as something that could be problematic for, for spreading the virus. Stealth carriers, people who don't have symptoms uh, but then are nevertheless passing along or have such mild symptoms, is something that really nobody has a handle on that. Um, if they're not meeting in those big groups, then the chance of that being passed on is less. We've also seen issues related to spring break with some of the beaches. Uh, I, I worked with um, Miami Beach Mayor in Fort Lauderdale, supported their closures of some of their beaches because you were having big crowds congregate. We've seen some big crowds on the west coast of Florida, um, and I've had a chance to speak to mayors on both coasts today. Uh, what we're going to be doing is simply for the statewide floor for beaches is applying the CDC guidance of no group on a beach more than 10 and you have to have distance apart if you're going to be out there. So that'll apply statewide. Now, different localities are going to make decisions um, about what makes sense. But having talked to mayors, it's certainly not uniform throughout the state that you're seeing massive crowds at beaches. Some of them are, you know, residents and families in small groups. Uh, so if that is done properly spaced and they want to continue to do that, you know, we want them to have the freedom to do, but also have the freedom to do more uh, if they see fit. So... We are, I think yesterday's press conference uh, from the White House and the guidance, uh, I think they really want to see uh, a lot of action over the next 15 days. So I think some of the steps we're taking will really help reduce density, reduce crowds. Um, and, and I think that's probably the best thing that we can do uh, at, at this point. Um, this is a situation where uh, we know the folks who are the most vulnerable for it. We know a lot of folks are taking precautions. Obviously, we've done a lot to try to help with that. Uh, but you have a lot of the younger folks who really are going to be key to this. And so it's our hope that uh, you know, these, um, th these new restrictions 
uh, will, will reduce the ability of folks to congregate in large numbers. And so we're, we're trying to heed the, the president's call. Um, we will have more for you um, very shortly um, because we're working on issue after issue pretty much around the clock. So I'll see you guys soon. Thanks. All right, you were just listening to.